What's up guys, welcome to Eat Explore Hunt. In today's video, we're fishing the creek. There it is. So I'm gonna be reviewing some soft plastic baits made by Yoder's Custom Rods, and you can find them on Facebook. Right here, you'll see their page name. There it is. Don't look at my address. But, first impressions look awesome. So he calls these the bass kickers. And I didn't want to waste the guy's time and only get one color, so I decided to get two different colors. I went with a, a green pumpkin because green pumpkin is probably one of the best colors that you can fish with. And it's, you know, it's a really common color. And I'll pull these out and show them to you in a minute. But the second color, I, I had no clue what I wanted to get. So I just said black with blue flake. And these also look great. Not sure how well you can see that on camera. And I'll get some better light here in a minute and show you guys. Okay, so here is the Green Pumpkin Bass Kicker. Again, this is made by Yoder's Custom Rods, and you can find them on Facebook. But, first and foremost, this feels, I mean, it feels really nice. It's very soft, but it's not too soft. Like, it, it actually feels like it will last more than one fish. So with the water conditions today, I think Green Pumpkin will be the best option instead of the Black with Blue Flake. Let me show you what I'm using. So I decided I wanted to start off today's video by throwing the chatterbait. And that's, so that's what the bass kicker looks like on there. Looks really good, nice profile, great color. So if I can't catch anything off of this, I'll switch to a jig or I might just use it as a Texas rig. I don't know yet. So let's get to it. Alright, so before I could even get started, I forgot a critical part of filming, and that's a memory card. So I had to go home, get the memory card for my GoPro, and on my way back I decided I was going to switch from a chatterbait to just an 8 ounce jig, and I'm going to swim this. The water is actually pretty cool considering it's like 95 degrees today. But I can already say that this has great action. The, the paddles on this bass kicker, they do a really good job. All right, here we go. First cast, guys. That's a bite. Just a little guy, but it's a rock bass. Decent sized rock bass for the first ever fish off this bass kicker. Pretty cool. Little rock bass. I think I have a fish. Yep. Oh no, I lost it. Oh man had one look about halfway yanked that bass kicker off there I think it was another rock it might have been another rock it might have been a small mouth whatever it was it wasn't real big it's 
So I'm casting all the way across the creek to that shaded area. With as hot as it was today, the water's still pretty cool. But it's just that much more cool in the shade. There's a fish. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. As soon as it hit the water, I had a fish. And the proof is in the pudding. Dad, gum it. That's me. That was 100% me. I wasn't ready for it. I hate braid. All right, right back, same spot. Well, it looks like I only had one chance at that particular fish because I cast to him a couple more times and he said, nope. Come on, let go. The hard part about fishing a jig in this creek there's so many rocks. That's why I'm going with the eighth ounce. Not nearly as heavy, you know, as a three ounce or three eighths ounce. Seems like it doesn't get stuck nearly as bad as a bigger jig, like a football jig or something. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, <laughs> I was almost back in and caught a little smallie. Cool. First smallmouth. Little baby, but that's number two for the bass kicker. The bait is still in really great shape. There's a little bit of wear right here underneath the hook from just, you know, catching fish and setting the hook. But one thing my dad always taught me was if a soft plastic catches one fish, you've earned your money with it. So far, caught two, probably could have had a third one. Guys, that's it for today's video. It's getting late. I'm gonna head home, spend some time with my family before I gotta go to bed for work tomorrow. But again, this is uh, Yoder's Custom Rods on Facebook. I will link his page in the description of this video. Go check this guy out. He's an Indiana boy, he's a Hoosier. He's from Northern Indiana. It's not his fault, but yeah. So he's from Northern Indiana and he makes these by hand. And as you can tell, it's it's, it looks like a professionally made lure, and it is. You know, he, he does it out of his home, but he does a high quality job. I mean, I had probably close to a dozen bites off of my first one before it finally wore out. I wasn't able to seal the deal on that many fish, but you know, getting that many bites and dragging this thing through the creek, it's gonna wear out any bait. Doesn't matter if it's a soft plastic or if it's a hard bait. I mean, for example, just look at this jig head. All that paint, not sure how well you can see that, but all that paint getting busted off of there just from bouncing this thing and dragging it through the rocks. Creek fishing takes its toll on your baits. But check out Yoder's Custom Rod. Again, his Facebook page will be in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching Eat Explore Hunt. I hope you guys have a good one.